Hey guys, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools and DIY channel. What's one of the worst things that can destroy a happy home? Let's find out right after this. You know, one of the best gifts you can give that special someone in your life, especially if they're a DIY tool lover like myself, is a household toolkit for those small jobs or a picture hanging tool for the decorator in them. You can find all those over at Calibrate.com, including our newly added gift set tool bags and gift boxes with all the goodies in them. Head on over to Calibrate.com and grab yours today while supplies last. Links in the description. All right guys, spotting dead termites on your floor like this or on your windowsill can be shocking to you if you don't know what's going on. Now, these termites have wings. They're called swarmer termites. They're the reproductive kind. And this could be a sign that termites were trying to mate and start new colonies in your home or on your property. It could also mean that there's an existing colony already in your home that you don't even know about. So if you don't act quickly enough, the infestation can get out of hand or out of control. Termite damage can be very, very expensive. So if you see this happening, that's a telltale sign that there's an infestation underway and that you need to jump on it right away. After spotting the dead termites on the floor, I said, okay, at least they're dead until I looked up at the window and saw a swarm of termites collected mostly in one spot in the window seemingly having a termite field day. Perhaps this is where they enter and exit the house. I tried to see where or how the dead termites entered the house. There were no holes in the window screens as far as I could tell, nor were there obvious holes in the walls. You may be asking, why do termites even exist? Well, they do play a role in the overall ecosystem by breaking down dead wood and organic matter. The thing about termites is that most of the damage they do is out of sight and out of mind. That's why they are the ultimate home wreckers. A termite colony has a queen and she is responsible for laying the eggs. She's pretty much the baby making factory and without her, there is no colony. Everyone else in the colony are workers whose job is to take care of the eggs and the young termites or larvae. The average termite colony has 60,000 to a million termites. So they mean business. They're there to take over. The war is on. Now these are termite droppings, also called frass. Not to be confused with termite eggs. Eggs are found in the nest. You won't see the eggs. And they can be underground or in the wood of the house or even the furniture, depending on the type of termite. Eggs are translucent in color, almost see-through. Droppings like this are brownish in color and can look like sawdust, coffee grounds, or even very small pellets. Fresh droppings have a moist appearance while older droppings have a dry appearance. In any case, even if you see no termites at all, but you see these droppings, that's definitely a sign of an infestation. Termites can be found in different places around your home or property, and they're not all the same. You have dry wood termites, and as the name suggests, they live in dry wood. As I mentioned, that can be furniture, wooden floors or ceiling beams, even dry firewood. They also live in trees. Damp wood termites, on the other hand, prefer damp, moist places like soil or rotting wood. They like water, so if you have standing water around your home, even puddles near a wooden structure, then expect them to set up shop. Same goes for subterranean termites who nest underground in the soil. They love damp, moist places. Any wood that's wet, be it tree stumps, wet wood laying around, they're on it. Termite damage can actually be mistaken for water damage just for this reason. Any chance they get, they will find a way into your home. Holes or cracks in your wood siding, cracks or fissures in the foundation, cracks or crevices on your roof, especially a leaky roof. If you see these on your walls, understand that the termites have already invaded the fortress. These are called mud tunnels or mud tubes. The worker termites make these out of soil, wood, and saliva, and they use them to travel back and forth from the nest to the wood buffet, which is your house. Why do they build these tubes? Because the tubes keep the termites in their own temperature controlled atmosphere, insulating them from the dry air outside while maintaining a humid atmosphere inside. This is usually the case for the subterranean termites who require a certain humidity level to survive. These mud tunnels are commonly around the foundation of your home 
or any wooden structure, even on trees. To find evidence of termites, look for signs of mud tunnels around the foundation of your home. Once again, be on the lookout for cracks or holes, no matter how small they may seem. Use caulk, cement, or grout to seal them up. Termites can squeeze through an opening as small as a 32nd of an inch, which is a little bit wider than a human hair. Keep the soil around your foundation dry by making sure water doesn't collect where the foundation meets the soil. So you have to have proper grading as you move away from the house. The ground should drop one inch for every foot that you move away from the house for the first five to 10 feet around your house. If this isn't possible or practical, just know that the ground should never be sloping up as you move away from the house. You're just asking for water to collect around your foundation if it is. Make sure that gutters and downspouts are clean and not stopped up by leaves or other debris so that they provide good drainage. If you see any openings where utilities enter your house, seal them up with caulk. Always plant trees or small plants at least two feet away from your house and make sure you keep them trimmed so that they're not touching the exterior of your house. Keep wood away from the house and off the ground. I'm talking about old wood, unused lumber, firewood, and mulch. Don't make it easy for the termites to get in. Also make sure to check those crawl spaces, basement floors, and porches as well. What may look like a dirty porch may actually be termite droppings, especially if it's a wooden porch. Pest control professionals treat the soil that surrounds your foundation with special chemicals to stop subterranean termites from building these mud tunnels as a way to keep them at bay. Most homeowners or property owners aren't even doing what I just listed thus exposing themselves to be silent home wreckers and financial destroyers. Just listen to the stories that are out there, one of which is a house that sits on a concrete slab, which many think makes it immune to a termite invasion. On the contrary, concrete slabs make it even more difficult to detect a termite infestation because they enter through the cracks in the slab that are not visible. Next thing you know, they're having a party in your wall frames, floorboards, and roof joists. Well, that's what happened to this particular house, which was sold to certain unfortunate individuals who had unknowingly bought the termite-infested dwelling for $487,000. They found out the hard way after starting renovations, only to end up selling the house for $360,000 in an area where the home prices were going for $560,000. That's a loss of about $130,000. According to the story, 75% of the house was affected by termite damage. And it was confirmed that the damage existed before the sale. I don't know if the owners had the house inspected before they bought it. But if they didn't, that was a very hard lesson to learn. So if you're in the market for buying a home, make sure that you get your own building and pest inspection done by a reputable company. Okay guys, hope you got some good tips on how to prevent termites from wrecking your happy home. If you learned something from the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Go to Calibrate.com. Got some great gift items over there, some great products. Help to support the channel. Share it with all your friends and family. And I'll see you on the next one.